हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेरी वेल एट होम आई नमिता श्रीवास्तव वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल इन ऑनलाइन क्लास टुडे अगेन वी विल डिस्कस अनदर चैप्टर ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर दैट इज लेसन टू द स्कूल बॉय एंड द पोइट ऑफ दिस पोएम इज विलियम ब्लेक लेट मी टेल यू अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट हिम विलियम ब्लेक वॉज बॉर्न नवम्बर ट्वेंटी and he died august 12 1827 he was gifted in philosophy poetry and art blake told people that he had mystical visions in his life when he was only 4 years old he said he had seen god who had put up his head on the window and when he was 9 years old he saw a full of angels he saw a tree full of angels many people who heard him speak this way thought that he was delusional because of this encounters the image of the angel would be a constant symbol in william blake's life blake was born into a middle class family he did not attend school instead his mother taught him at home the bible was a huge influence to him he became a professional engraver at age 21 Blake married the illiterate Catherine Boucher and then he taught her how to read and write and also make drafts so that they could work together he even had plans to publish along with her she played an important role in his life he wrote many famous poems like to autumn and the garden of love etc now what is the theme of the poem children in this poem the poet tells the feelings of a boy who does not like to go to school and he finds school is a boring place with lots of work and no play he hates to go to school he likes to rise in the morning and accompany others birds in their singing let's start the central idea of this poem The speaker of the poem is a school boy who loves to rise in a summer morning when birds are singing on the trees. The boy gets entertained by the company of the hunter who blows his clarion from a distant field and sweet song of the skylark. But the things does not like is going to school which pulls all his happiness and joy. as you can see in the picture the boy was very happy in beginning but as he has to go to school he is not looking happy he is very sad he thinks that his all happiness and joy is going somewhere he is tired and even puzzled under the strict supervision of his teacher instead of enjoying the pleasure of summer the child has to spend many times many many hours many tens hours in his school nor in the garden where he can learn many things in interesting ways with nature the the child is comparing himself as a bird he says a bird can never sing a sweet song when it caged similarly a child it if a child remains under the umbrella of annoying fear and tension he can never enjoy the natural instincts of joy and playfulness in last stanza he tries to make to understand his parents that if a budding child is picked and swept off in the early stage of life where there is no one to care for them how he could grow in the mature plant here the school boy compares the children to the spring plants which have been destroyed according to him like the flowers the children to need freedom for efficient growth now i have explained 
the central idea of this poem so write central idea in your copy and learn it here according to stanza i have given word meanings you have to learn from the video it is a stanza number 2 stanza number 3 word meanings 4 and 5 i hope you understood this poem so learn the central idea and word meanings thank you and have a nice